guys, expatriate in the Philippines, back again. So, uh, some exciting news in uh, our town. Tomorrow we have a new uh, uh, shopping mall that's opening up. Um, it's called um, Jumbo Genra. So it would be the biggest uh, shopping mall in our town. So what I'm going to do now is go and take uh, a walk from my house here and see how long it takes to get there. It's also on this side of town. So you see behind me, nice blue skies, uh, 31 degrees, perfect walking weather. So I'll catch you there. See you soon. if you can hear me all the music and uh, the traffic so this is the uh, entrance to my uh, to my subdivision uh, this is the uh, the lottery guy so this is a new road that we have now the macab highway right down in the distance down there is uh, the Arayat mountain and if we go the other way that's uh, then down into the town. So that's where uh, I'm heading off now. So I'll see you down there. So I've mentioned this uh, restaurant in one of my videos before. Uh, Lola Lucia. So here you can eat uh, all you can earn, all you can, for uh, 300 pesos. I've uh, been in there quite a few times, it's a very big place and uh, all the types of uh, food. Uh, very nice restaurant to go to and like I said 300 peso a person, all you can eat. So guys we have a, a big truck here loaded uh, with cement. I've just spoken to the guys, they say they, uh, something wrong with the engine. It's uh, fully loaded with cement bags. Uh, we'll just go around here. So, uh, you can see here, take it to uh, someone's, some stores waiting for a delivery. Uh, you can see the brake marks here. So either something seized, he said the, the engine. For now, these guys, hello guys. Hi guys. So they've got to. You're going to put all this onto there. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear me. So yeah. And uh, as I said, it's lovely Hi. blue skies, nice and hot. So so guys. <laughs> That's how they do it here. So here we have a little uh, workshop where they repair the uh, electric motors. So you see here yeah, the, uh, the copper wiring, they all do this uh, manually by, by hand. So there's, the, there's, there's the boss and his assistant. You're both boss. <laughs> okay. So you have here. So the uh, the company that I actually work for, we used to make uh, we used to make the commentators for the electric motors. Uh, I can't I can't find it. And uh, you can see there they're very busy now. No, it's lunchtime. Lunchtime. So you have all the different different thickness of uh, copper wire. And uh, yeah, so that's that's how they do it here. 
Okay. So I hope you guys can hear me behind all the, uh, the noise and the, the chopping. So uh, this workshop here makes uh, bending and cutting machines. And everything they they do themselves. And apparently it's quite it's, it's quite it's quite good system. So you can Hello, you the boss? Yes sir. Oh so this is the boss? <laughs> so I'm just showing the guys what you make. Because um, I was in China for 12 years uh, working in some companies. I was in China, not in my life. So, yes, so it's all material. Machines, so they do everything. Oh, can I go to the back there? So you see, they're preparing here. These machines are nearly nearly finished. Stop the painting. Big one here as well. <laughs> so this is the looks like the very first stages. So, yeah. so that will go onto this one, and then look at the right one. Oh. They look very busy. So uh, also in the Philippines, or especially in Manila, they're trying to phase out the uh, the old jeepness. And what they've done here, they're best of running here. They replaced them with these uh, these buses, the white buses. So very comfortable to sit in. The wave is very comfortable to sit in. Air conditioning and uh, yeah, there's about one every every 10 or 15 minutes. You just come on the road, wait, and then they'll, they'll pick you up. So there's a bit of uh, congestion here. We'll go down and see see what's up. So this is what they call uh, lechon. It's the barbecued or roast roast pig so usually they've got them all lined up here depending on how many orders they have there you go the background fox lechon house you just ring them up or you come here order your lechon for your party and they'll, uh, they'll do everything for you So in the background there, we have the uh, Pampanga Premier Medical Center. Uh, uh, it's behind the drug. <laughs> so it's been open only uh, a couple of years. So that, that's just down the road from where I live. So if I had any medical emergencies, I can just uh, pop into there. So we finally reached our destination. Uh, tomorrow, the uh, grand opening at the uh, 11.30. So as I mentioned, this is on my side of the town, this is the north side of the pilot. If we wanted to go to any uh, large shops, we had to go onto the, uh, the other side of town. So this is, where, this is where all the action will be tomorrow. So I'll uh, just... Join us for the grand opening of the new West Chapel We are Chandra setting up all the sound systems for tomorrow. Affordable prices, more selections, and your new West Town buyer. Monkey City and Ass of February 9th, 11.30 a.m. Sahar Kurumasta, Jumbo Chandra Bani. So there we have it officially. 11.30 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, guys. February 9th, Ashley Ortega, grand opening mall show. February 10th. The, uh, GMA Capuso guess. Mall Show featuring Janelin Mercado, Seattle Zim, Mike Tan, and Pauline Montenegro. And watch out for more exciting freebies from Jumbo General Supermarket. Miki Tiki Tamapu, Apaliteños, on February 9th, 11 30 a.m. for Jumbo General Apaliteños. We're actually opening up earlier than the. Uh... Join us for the grand opening of the newest Jumbo General in Apalik. 
Jumbo Jenga. So, yeah, lots of new, uh, new little shops for us. And also lots of. So, that's a jeepney I was telling you about before. Still got there. Doing the last the last preparations for tomorrow. So there we have it, Jumbo Genra. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, go further into the town. Uh, my favourite hobby before I came here to Philippines was uh, billiards. We uh, say pool in the UK. And I heard that there's a couple of billiard places in the town, so I'm going to go and try and find them. So I'll catch you there if I find them. <laughs> See you later, guys. So here we have a uh, fruit store, all fresh fruits, bananas, pineapple, watermelon, melon, 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 melon melons, the little oranges. Grapes, mangoes. So and uh, yeah, we uh, we often buy quite a lot of fruit from here. And as I say, if you find anything that's not quite good on it, you can bring it back. And they give you a new one, which is uh, very really good. So oh, yeah, the the dragon fruit. So, the next customer. So that's uh, fresh fruit. Uh, this is where I'll end up in one day. This is where they, uh, the people that have died, their their last journey to the to the uh, to the cemetery. And it's normally uh, it's normally taken with the horse, but I think they can also take it with a small small truck. So I think it's is it. Table. Stainless steel, huh? Stainless steel? Yes, stainless steel. So that's where the, uh, the coffin will go inside. And uh, yeah, the last, last journey of their lives. So here we have the uh, China Bank. That's the bank I'm with. Oh, my dear truck. Um, <laughs> I've been here four years, so I've had no problems with them whatsoever. It was very easy to set up an account. Uh, and I say, I've had no problems with them at all. Also, transactions from uh, Europe to the Philippines uh, work no problems whatsoever. So, China Bank. So this is the uh, in thing at the moment. You see a lot of these uh, electric uh, tricycles. Uh, I remember when I was in China, everybody used to have a broken bicycle and then the salaries were going up in all the companies. So everybody then got, uh, for example, something like this. It's a single, they call it. And then uh, they gradually got more money and then got their tricycle. So and these are the other tricycle guys. They do the <laughs> They're waiting for customers. So if you don't take the bus, you know, this one, you know, the other one, it, it comes to the other one. So that's a good example now. So we have the, we have the jeepney and we have the, the white air conditioning bus. And the tricycles here, they have automatic air conditioning. So they'll, uh, they're uh, normally for each barren guy, each barren guy has their own own a tricycle group and they'll, they'll wait then for customers like this one here she's been uh, shopping for uh, Sari Sari store that's uh, Chicharon I think that's pork crispy pork scratching I think yes uh, so yes electric is taking over here in the Philippines so we have also a victory liner it's the big big buses which uh, also takes us to Manila. So you'll see the uh, the Calocan. Takes a bit longer these ones. I'm not sure. I think around two hours. There's, uh, there's one over there. So the Victory liner buses. 
takes a bit longer because they stop in all of these small villages that's from here to, to Manila. There is uh, another one that you can catch. Uh, they leave from San Simon, which are directly on the Enlex, that's the highway that goes to Manila. Uh, that's direct. Uh, takes about one hour. So I'm almost now in the center of the town. So this is where my uh, wife sometimes buy, buy our food. Um, fresh options. So I'm ready to go inside, but you'll see it's uh, all frozen food. And uh, you go in there and then, for example, my T-bone steaks, uh, they'll have one big piece and they'll cut them up into the slices, how you, the, the thickness you need. And uh, so I've been here four years and uh, no problems with the quality of the meat. Uh, I was told in some of my videos that the meat looks uh, of very poor quality. Well, it's, oh, it's okay for me. I'm quite happy with it. So, fresh options. So this is the heart of the town, the, uh, the town centre. So that's the road leading to where I've just come from, to where I live. That's uh, a road uh, called Gonzalez Avenue, which leads down to where my wife's family live. And this is then the road that uh, goes to Manila. So at this place here, this is where the old wet market, the old Palenque, that's where this used to be. They built a new one which has been open oh, for over a year now. A uh, very nice modern wet market, nice and clean. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to be building here because there's uh, no signs or anything. Yes, so this is the town centre of Apali. The municipal is down the bottom of this road, it's quite far, so it's not actually. Hey guys, you okay? Good. So then another. So I, I, yes, I finally reached there and I've asked a couple of guys where the uh, billiard clubs are. And guess what? They said they're closed. <laughs> so I was just about to say everything for nothing, but uh, at least I've done a couple of videos for you to show you. The town is actually a very small town, but this is the main, the main uh, highway, MacArthur Highway, which comes from Angeles, San Fernando, and, and goes right through the middle of this very small town. That's why there's a, a lot of traffic here. And as I said, it, it leads up not through the middle. So, no, no billiard. You're going to have to look up an internet where I can play billiards. So, unless I see anything else on the way back, that will be all for me at the moment. And I'll, uh, I'll get in touch with you then when I get back to my place. See ya. This is one of my uh, favorite chickens. They call it uh, Baliwag, uh, Lechon chicken. And uh, what they do, I'll show you. So they, uh, they put on a I don't know if you can see that. They put that on the on the grill. So they're barbecued. And they put it in a bag. And then you get also all the juices as well. Uh, see, half a chicken, 150 peso. And a uh, full chicken, three up there. They're large chickens. And also, there's the uh, chicharron spicy and plain they're also very nice so yeah sometimes at least once a week we, we have chicken and what i don't eat i then put then uh, in a sandwich in the evening so chicken sandwich with a uh, packet crisps there you go. i'm not sure if you can hear me again because of all the uh, noise in the background the traffic and music so uh, these three places I'm going to show you now are walking close, well, just out the road from the, uh, the Jumbo. So uh, 10 to 15 minutes, this is the uh, Korean Samji. Uh, we've been there quite a few times. Nice little place to sit out in the evening. Look at that. 
is next to a uh, disco bar. Yes, we have disco bars in the school town. Called Verandas. Uh, every night they have uh, one or two uh, live bands, proper bands, playing their music. That's Verandas. We also have another one on the other side of town called. Uh, uh, what's it called now? I can't remember what it's called now. So we have actually two. And then underneath we have the uh, Kamayan Seafood Poodle. And they also do now Chinese food. So we've, we've been in there also. Oh look, we're getting ready for the Chinese New Year. <laughs> That's good. So we've been in there a few times with the, with the family. They do these uh, poodle fights, they call it. So it's a table just put on banana leaves. Uh, eight to ten people. I think it's three thousand pesos. Eight to ten people. So you can't uh, you can't eat for that in uh, in Manila or uh, Cebu or Bohol or whatever. So yeah, that's that. So I'm going to go now to the 7-Eleven. Is one of these stores. Uh, go give myself a nice cream, and I'll sit there and cool down a bit. It's getting a bit hot now, and we'll just go pick up over what we've done down the street, and then uh, I'll leave it in there. So I'll see you at the 7-Eleven. So we're at the 7-Eleven, uh, taking a small break. I live just down the road here, but uh, I need. I've been walking now for an hour and a half, so I need to uh, have a nice cold drink. Do that. Oh. Power. These power drinks. Oh, that's nice and cold. And one of my favourites. Magnum ice cream, thick chocolate with vanilla. So, uh, yeah, so just to recap, that was just to show you what's going to be the main attraction here tomorrow. It's the, uh, the Jumbo Jena, they call it. The grand opening 11.30, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go that time. Maybe I'll go later in the day when it quietens down a little bit. My mum always told me don't keep in the mouth for, but I think you can get me uh, just on this occasion. So see, even though uh, the mention, it's, the palace is a very small town, we do have the main, the main highway going through, through the town. Very noisy. Hi! <laughs> so even sitting here, everybody knows you. Actually, my arms are a bit tight from waving to everybody. Uh, where was I? Yes. Look out there. So where I live in the subdivision, I live right at the back of the subdivision. I don't know if you've noticed it on the on the videos. And I'm on that bridge and that. So I'm right, so you don't get any noise from this road. But depending on the, the weather or the wind, uh, you get the NLEX highway, which is then at the back of our, our subdivision, not far away. So, I've shown you a few, uh, few things that are in the town. If I need anything, it's very easy to uh, get to. I, I can walk, walk there. I can go on my own motorcycle. Mm, there you go. Or, we get uh, one of the tricycles. Or, these little white buses like I showed you, or the gym, they stop right outside the entrance of my subdivision. So it's very easy to, to get here. And then, uh, of course, back, it's also very easy. Got many tricycles, so, so that's no problem. Uh, yeah, we got the, uh, the hospital right next door to my subdivision. Any emergencies? So we've got this. It's five minute walk from here. Uh, 
next door we got uh, KFC. And we have in the other direction we have McDonald's. And anyway, in that jumbo, there's, there's going to be lots of uh, small, small places in there. Also, I think McDonald's, uh, KFC, Jollibee, Mangan is all. That's the, the barbecue chicken one, which uh, the Filipinos go mad over, mainly because it's very cheap. Then like 100 peso for uh, uh, chicken, chicken breast or chicken leg with uh, unlimited rice. Oh. Yeah, and I'll show you some small things that um, some eateries and some uh, workshops and the electric bikes. So, oh. I think, unless I see anything else on the way back, because it's only five minutes from here. So, I think that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed it. I eat this before it melts. I hope, hope, you, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Now you see where I live and uh, what we can do here. Um, right, if you did like the video and you found it interesting, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, and uh, you give me a thumbs down. But uh, in the comments, you could maybe explain uh, what, you didn't, what you didn't like about it. I say this every time. Obviously, not many people read uh, or look at my videos to the end because I do get some thumb down and no comment. So I don't, I don't know why they just don't skip and go to near the end. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you to all the new subscribers in the last couple of weeks. And um, getting more and more every day, a couple of new ones. Thank you very much, guys. Um, press the notification bell so you'll be notified when I uh, upload my, my next video. And uh, please feel free to share uh, any videos to your friends and family. So I better eat this before it all melts. I'll see you again some other time. So for me, it's. Bye!